I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore polynomial division statement. Now polynomial division statement can be written as dividend equals to divisor times quotient plus remainder. Now, if I give you a question saying that uh, we have a dividend as f of x, let me give a value of divisor, let's take a linear divisor, let's take x minus 3 and let me take quotient, let's take a quadratic quotient, degree 2 minus 5x minus 7 let us say and let's take some remainder let's say that the remainder is 5 so if I tell you that we need to find a dividend when divisor is x minus 3 quotient is x square minus 5x minus 7 and remainder is 5 how are you going to solve this type of equation so let's take this up we can actually directly apply the division statement and find the solution, right? So what we can do here is dividend is f of x. We want to find this value. We can multiply divisor and the quotient that is x minus 3 times x squared minus 5x minus 7 and we can add the remainder 5. Okay, so let's do multiplying x with all three terms will give us three terms x cubed minus 5x squared minus 7x with minus 3 signs will change minus 3x squared plus 15x plus 21 and we have plus 5 here right now let's combine the like terms we have x cubed squared minus 8x squared uh, 7x and this gives you plus 8x the constants 21 plus 5 is 26 26 now the question is so we have f of x here so let's concentrate on this so let me ask you a few questions based on uh, what we've done so far the first question here is is x minus 3 factor of f of x right answer that question uh, so what is your answer so answer for you will be no since we have remainder 5 remainder is 5 right since we have remainder of 5 now question number 2 based on this could be find the value of f of 3 now so to find f of 3 you could substitute 3 in your function well this is your function now you're working with this function let me highlight this function you can substitute 3 calculate your answer using calculator or what you can do is you can just apply the remainder theorem and say since the remainder is 5 right since the remainder is 5 f of 3 we are dividing by x minus 3 should be equal to 5 correct okay? so as far as you are concerned what you can do is you can check uh, if f of 3 which is indeed equals to 3 cube minus 8 times 3 square plus 8 times 3 plus 26 equals to 5 or not, right? So you could check it. So that comes from the remainder theorem, right? So what we applied here was remainder theorem. Now the question here is, question number 3, is based on division statement you need to prove remainder theorem. 
So prove remainder theorem based on division statement. Okay, so first, what is remainder theorem? So remainder theorem is, let's write down what remainder theorem is. Remainder theorem basically gives you the value of the function. Rather, remainder is related to the value of the function when you know what divisor is. Correct? So we can say if f of x is divided by let's say x minus a in general x minus a giving quotient q of x and remainder r then then f of a equals to r right so that is what we have f of a equals to r we just showed it now the question is how do you prove this remainder theorem based on division statement okay so let's get back to the division statement so if you get back to division statement we are saying this is the function f of x that is the divisor d of x times quotient q of x plus remainder right that's what we are saying so let me write this here so we have very limited space to work anyway in our case we are dividing by x minus 1 so the divisor is x minus a so let me write this as f of x equals to divisor for us as x minus a we write any quotient since it is quotient q of x right times q of x plus remainder right now what happens when I write x equals to a? We get f of a equals to a minus a times q of x plus remainder. a minus a is 0. Do you see that? a minus a is 0. So 0 times anything will be 0. Perfect. So what you get is, is r. So we proved f a to be equals to r that is what the remainder theorem is you get the idea so the division statement also helps you to prove the remainder theorem correct so you get a good idea about it so okay so we're running out of space here so let's move on to the next page and we'll take our example f of x equals to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 8x plus 26 and move further with this. Okay, so let me copy this example. So we are working with the function f of x equals to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 8x plus 26, right? 26. We got it when uh, the divisor was x minus 3 remainder let me say r of x was 5 and the quotient was x square minus 5x minus 7 right so i've just copied the values which we just worked with we got a function when we multiplied x minus 3 by the quotient and added remainder so we'll work further with this and explore the division statement in uh, more details right so what we have here at present is that we could write x cube minus 8x square plus 8x plus 26 as equal to the divisor x minus 3 times the quotient which is x square minus 5x minus 7 plus the remainder 5 okay so in the question series let's go to question number four now now question number four is we know that x minus three 
is not a factor of f of x, right? This is f of x. Now the question here is, what could be multiple of x minus 3 which is close to to f of x and that's the question for you we know f of x is not a multiple of x minus 3 since you get a remainder 5 so what could be the close multiple of f of x right so so from here we know since remainder is 5 uh, so if I have f of x minus 5 then f of x minus 5 is a multiple do you see that correct so f of x minus 5 is a multiple so you could get that multiple okay so we got the first multiple f of x minus 5 correct now the question for you question number 5 is provide another multiple of x minus 3 which is closed or related with related with f of x can you do that part so that is the last question for this series uh, provide another multiple of x minus 3 related with f of x so we got one here perfect the other one could be just add x minus 3 to it right so so we know f of x minus 5 is a multiple you can add you can add x minus 3 right or multiples of x minus 3 to get more do you see that to get more so that is your answer so in your case or you could say well the function could be let's say g of x will be equals to here we have f of x so if i do take away 5 what do i get i get the multiple which is x cube minus 8x square plus 8x plus 21 is it okay so that becomes a multiple so this is a multiple is it okay now if i take away further x minus 3 or even if i add x minus 3 right so if i add x minus 3 then i get another multiple you get an idea so the other multiple could be x cube minus 8x square plus 9x and uh, that gives me 18 right so plus 18 is it okay so what we got here is that the gx is x cube minus 8x square plus 9x plus 18 is it okay so that is another multiple of uh, g of x now final question let me add one more here uh, justify g of x is multiple of x minus 3 can you do that part justify that g of x is a multiple of x minus 3 it also means that x minus 3 is a factor is it okay so that's the question for you and a quick solution to this is find g of 3 right you should get it equal to 0 if g of 3 is 0 we know remainder is 0 and therefore g of x is a factor of I should say g of x is a multiple or x minus 3 is a factor right so what we can do is substitute 3 here right so we have 3 cube minus 8 times 3 square plus 9 times 3 plus 18 correct and let's use the calculator to find the answer quickly so we have uh, 3 cube minus 8 times let me write 9 right plus 
9 times 3 plus 18 and that is equal to 0 as you can see right so this is 0 and so whatever calculations we did uh, works fine so I hope with this example you get good grasp of division statement and how we can really work with division statement right I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that really helps you can always share and subscribe to my videos feel free to post questions and like them Thank you and all the best.